Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some more work on the mines that we started last episode. We managed to get this all up and running the way that it's supposed to be. But, uh, you know, it's really not looking all that great here. If I do say so myself, it's kind of hideous. So, that's going to be our primary objective in this episode, is fixing the hideousness of basically this whole mine. We're going to clean it up, make it look all fancy and nice and pretty and all that kind of good stuff. So, that's our plan. I think we'll start up here and kind of work our way down. And I think I'm going to start with this room, and I think what would look really nice here would be some stone slabs, just like this. Ooh, can I make that? There we go. I think this works really well as a floor texture for if you're looking for a nice, clean floor, which in this case I am. I think this will work out perfectly. So let's go ahead and do the same over here. Oh, I forget we've got that, uh, we have that redstone torch sitting there, and that needs to stay there. But that's okay, that'll be covered up. And then we'll just break that one. There we go. Okay. Maybe we can cover this up fairly well. Now, do we want to do the same up here? Or do we want to switch to the stone bricks so it matches? Hmm, that is a question. And that's a pretty good question. If you, oh, There's a hole in the ground there. Why is there a random hole in the ground? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's clean all this up nicely. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll start the stone bricks right here. That way it'll match, and then we'll have these stone slabs for this portion of it. And yes, I know it looks very gray, but you know what? That's fine. That's perfectly okay. Yeah, that, that already looks at least somewhat better than it did. And I know that I also want this cobblestone path to come up here. Is my inventory full? It is. Okay. Well, we'll fix that up in just a minute. There we go. Got our pathway. We got our pathway going on. All right. Let's dump off some of this stuff. And now, next step is these right here and the walls. The walls and the ceiling up here. I did bring this up by one more. Uh, after last episode, and I kind of want to use, eh, I have a feeling I'm going to have to use spruce, and I don't have all that much spruce handy. I mean, I suppose, maybe, hmm, maybe we can save our spruce a little bit. Hmm. And use logs. I'm trying to think, do I like oak better for this? I might like oak better for this. Let's see. If we do that. You know, I think I like the oak better, honestly. So we'll just take out the spruce altogether. And we'll use oak instead. I think oak lo looks a little bit more um, weathered, if you will. And we need to open up some space in our inventory. Because right now, it is very full, and I just wasted a whole bunch of sand by accidentally breaking that chest. There we go. Okay. That's better. All right, let me get the uh, spruce here swapped out for oak, guys, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I have the oak that was here swapped out, or the spruce that was here, I should say, swapped out for oak. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run those across like this, 
And then, oh man, this might actually be a little bit challenging. In these little bits here, I'm going to put oak logs going all the way down the sides. Which, admittedly, looks a little derpy right now. But have faith. Have faith, guys. Okay. So we've got that kind of going. Now the next thing to do... Is grab some stone bricks. And what we'll do is make some stone brick stairs. Which will go... Like this. Oh. And if I can get up there. There we go. And we're just going to bring that pattern down. Like that. And then we can come up here and take a look at it. How does that look? Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think it still needs a little something, though. Let's see. What would it look like if we took some spruce stairs like that? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I care for that very much. Or maybe we could do fences. Maybe oak fences would be the way to go. Let's try that. Let's just see... if I can remember the fence recipe. There we go. Let's give that a try. How's that look? If we go... Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, that I like. So that's what we're going to do. We'll do oak. Oh, man, we're going to use so much oak. Oh, oh well, that's all right. I've got tons of it. So I'm going to get this all put in place, guys, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and we've got this part of the... Uh, tunnel or the staircase or whatever you want to call it. We've got that all done. So next, I want to go ahead and start tackling the walls a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace everything in the wall that's not smooth stone with smooth stone. Now, that is, of course, going to take me a little while. So I will be back as soon as I've got that done. All right, guys, I am back. We've got all the stone in the wall, all the materials in the wall. That's all swapped out for smooth stone now. So now we can move on to the next phase of the project. And there's a couple minor things to do here. Ooh, it is dark. That's all right. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Let's grab a little bit of this. And then we're going to start grabbing some of these other materials as well. Probably not diorite or granite, though. Uh, gravel I think I'll want. Yeah, that should do. Ooh, and just in case I want those fences. Okay. So what we're going to do is down here on this little landing, I guess we'll call it, we're going to take some of these logs and we're going to run those down like that. And then we're going to bring them to right there like they're connecting and we'll connect up another fence so it matches up right there and then I think hmm I'd like to have another log that comes like down this wall but I don't think that's gonna work so maybe we would be better off Bringing something across like that. Come on now, get up there. There we go. Hmm. How's that look? Hmm. Not so good. Not really a fan. 
Gotta admit. Okay. Well, maybe what we could do is something like that. And then... I do know that I want this to come across over here. All the way across the room. And connect up in this corner. Like so. And connect up to these. I know that for sure. Maybe what we could just do is have like a couple, uh, I guess we'd call them like cross beams. Big supports that kind of come across this portion. Uh, we could do like one right there. One right there. So, you know, you come down and you see something like this. And we could almost just leave it at that, honestly. Or, we could bring one down there, and then across. Hmm, I think this would look better right here, though. Let's give that a try. Oh, messed that one up. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. That'll do. That'll do. I'm good with that. And then we'll bring this across. And... That. Down. Like so. And we can even... Bring down another one. Right there. That thing should still be able to turn the corner. Yes, it can. Good, good, good. We'll put some torches up there. We can put a torch here and... Wait a minute. Oh. I see what's wrong. There we go. Can do that. Yeah, I'm good with that. That looks fine to me. We've got the wooden supports going all the way down. Okay, awesome. Now, the next step... And one of the more important steps is going to be to mix some variation and detail into the walls. And I just noticed I missed a coal block right there. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of randomize little sections of the wall. Oh, what? Creeper. Oh, creeper. Why? Why must you do this to me? I hate creepers. I hate them. I hate them so much. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll clean it up. Those things... I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the video and see if I had, if I, if that thing was like on my screen and I just didn't see it, or if it just came out of nowhere. I think it just came out of nowhere, honestly. Oh, man. I don't think it destroyed any of our redstone, though, so that's good. Uh, it did destroy a rail, a powered rail. Hmm, that's slightly annoying. So we'll have to clean that up, but that's not a big deal. We can just go grab one powered rail, and we should be okay. So that could have been, that could have been a lot worse. I mean, we were in an area that was primarily made of stone, so, yeah. I mean, it, it could have been significantly worse than it was. Uh, we'll just... We'll just have to be more careful next time, I guess. Oh, man. That scared me just a little bit. I jumped. I admit, I jumped a little bit. Came out of nowhere. 
blasted creeper. Uh, okay. So you were here. And then we had a minecart chest doing things like that. Okay. So, as I was saying, before I got so rudely creepered, let's put a chest here, or a, a torch there. And uh, let's put a torch here and there. So, we're just going to mix a couple other materials in here. Just a little bit. A little bit here, a little bit there. Maybe some stone brick. Just kind of mix it up a little. And the goal here is just to add a little bit of variation and detail to the wall. Because right now, the wall is fairly boring. So we're just going to mix in maybe some stone bricks like that. I kind of like the effect that stone bricks have when you mix them with smooth stone. And we're just going to knock out, you know, random spots here and there. And just kind of fill them in with these stone bricks. Kind of going all the way down the wall. And then we'll go back and we'll mix in a little bit of andesite, maybe some cobble, stuff like that. And it's just going to be relatively random. No real pattern, nothing like that, just kind of, you know, where I see fit. We'll mix in a little bit of stone brick. And that'll create kind of an effect as we go down, which will make this wall significantly more interesting than it was before. So let me get some detail work here, guys, and uh, I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and the walls are looking great, if I do say so myself. I got them all cleaned up and ready to go. So there's two things that have to be done left in the mine. Down there, we need to actually start the mine itself, and we need to clean up the upstairs just a little bit. Um, and, of course, it's night. Let's Wow, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, so many zombies. Look at them all. Holy cats! They're everywhere! If I get creepered again, I will be very upset. Come here, skeleton. Come here! I want your bones. Ooh, hello, creeper. You're dead. You're also dead. Die. Alright. Shouldn't have come to mess with me. That was a foolish mistake on your part. I'm going to take the spider eyes because I actually need them for potions and things, but I think there's a creeper right down here, isn't there? Not anymore. Whew. Okay. Time to sleep. That's what I think. And then, then we can get to the good stuff. Okay. So, what do I need? This, this, that, that, that. Okay, I am going to need some leaves, I am going to need some bone meal, and I'm sure that I'm going to need some dirt. Ooh, and actually there is one other thing that I forgot to do as well, but I will take care of that in just a moment. I think I'll do that off camera. So, let's see, cobblestone. Let's just put all of our cobblestone away, because I don't need it. I was considering using it, um, but I've, I've changed my mind on that. I don't think I'm going to be using any cobble in this build. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks good. So, this, this needs to be cleaned up. This entranceway needs to be made a lot more interesting. So let's grab some dirt. And let's see what we can do. Um, we'll maybe do something like that. 
It doesn't really need a whole lot of bone meal, but I, th I do think I want some bushes, some leaves kind of coming down here. Like so, maybe a little more over there. Just to kind of give us this overgrown look that I'm kind of going for here. I don't want that one. Let's do maybe something like that. I think that one needs to go away. Maybe both of these need to go away. And then maybe that one too. Yeah, that's better. Then we'll maybe right there. Kind of do a little bit of this action right there. That looks pretty good. So we've got some leaves and stuff kind of covering up that entrance way. Spruce, I don't know. Uh, I'm, hmm. It is what it is. Spruce, it's okay. We'll take the spruce. Let's get a little bit of bone meal action going over here. Not as much bone meal as I was hoping for, but I guess it'll do. Okay. Now, this room. Oh, man, this room. Okay. Let's see. I think we'll take that bit out. I suppose if I break that... Yep, of course that's going to be sky. Okay. Well, let's take a look at that from outside and see how we can change it. Okay. So, this is basically the space that we need. That should be fine. That doesn't look bad. Okay. So now, if we take the smooth stone like that and fill that in, that should be good. Now, this is also all in need of hiding. Um, we'll just do a little bit of that. And pretty much this whole wall needs to disappear. Oh, that's going to be a little harder to hide. I should have placed the leaves afterwards. Hmm. Whoa! Skeleton! Okay, there are definitely spawnable areas in here. That much is obvious to me. Between the creeper and the other nasty stuff, there are definitely things here. There are definitely places where nasty things can spawn, and that worries me just a little bit. Let's see how this looks with the stone here. Let's see how that looks from out front. It might not look that bad, because... You know, there's stone up there. That actually, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. That's all right. That actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Okay. Cool. Now this, back here. We'll take our silk touch. And I want to get this granite out of here. And just replace that with smooth stone. Like that. There, that's much better. And this kind of needs to stay the way it is, otherwise it won't work properly. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are making some awesome progress. The last thing that we need to do is down here in the floor, I need to swap all these out for stone bricks. So let's just take this stuff up. I'm actually going to use the Silk Touch pick a gat. There. Oh, ooh, that was a monster egg. I'm in an extreme hills biome here. So it means that when I'm mining, I do have a chance to find emeralds, which is, which is good. That's a good thing. I did find some earlier when I was mining. Um, not a whole lot of luck, but a little bit. Enough. Enough to make it reasonably worthwhile. Let's connect that back up. And then we're just going to fill the whole floor here in with these stone bricks. And I think that'll look just fine. There we go. 
Yeah. All right. We've got a thing. We have a place. Ooh, I missed one. Being sneaky. And I missed another one because you were also being sneaky. Did I miss one over here? No. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. We have a mine, and the mine is all nice and improved and ready to go. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.